Would you be free from your burden of sin? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you or evil a victory win? There's wonderful power in the blood. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood.
again is been faithful, faithful to me. Looking back, his love and mercy I see. Even fail to believe He's been faithful, faithful Oh, in my heart I have questioned Even fail to believe He's been faithful Question, even fail, fail to believe. Yet it's been faithful, faithful to me. To me. Oh, it's faithful. Oh, faithful. Julian could barely feed himself from the money he earned shining shoes. He set up every day along a busy walking street in Nicosia, Cyprus. Most of his money went to buy cigarettes and alcohol. A decade earlier, Julian had immigrated to Cyprus from Bulgaria to look for a job. One day, Philip, a global mission pioneer also from Bulgaria, walked by and greeted Julian, asking if he needed any help. Julian was surprised. No one had asked him such a question in a long time. It was nice to hear someone taking an interest in him and speaking his native language. But Julian didn't answer the question and just offered him a shoe shine. While Julian shined his shoes, Philip told him that Jesus loves each one of us, no matter what situation we're in. The mention of Jesus grabbed Julian's attention. The next day, Philip returned and asked again if Julian needed any help. Julian was surprised that the stranger had returned. This time, Philip didn't need a shoe shine, so they just talked for a while and looked through the books that he brought. This became a routine. Sometimes, Philip read the Bible to Julian, and eventually, the shoe shiner opened up about how he'd worked in construction after arriving with his family in Cyprus. He lost his job and was kicked out of his home for drinking. His family and friends had rejected him. One day, Julian led his new friend to the abandoned building where he slept. His bed was a hard floor. The sight brought tears to Philip's eyes, and they prayed together on the street. Julian felt valued and felt God's love through the pioneer's actions. It was at that point that he gave his life to God. Although he'd drunk and smoked heavily for 35 years, Julian decided to give up alcohol and tobacco that day. His family welcomed him back home, and now he tells everyone who will listen about his love for God. Philip regularly leads a Bulgarian language Bible study. Over three years, eight people had been baptized through Philip's work, a significant number for a country where the Adventist church has only about 100 members in a population of more than one million. He often spends his time mingling with people, getting to know them where they are. Please pray for pioneers like Philip, who are sharing a message of hope with their communities. Thank you for supporting Global Mission. Good day, everyone, and welcome to our program this morning. It's prayer. Heavenly Father, you have brought us safely through another week. Thank you for the joy of another Sabbath day. Be with those who are feeling discouraged today and may they find perfect peace in you, Lord. Amen. Today I want to talk about the spiritual seeds that we sow. 
Have you ever wondered how it is possible for garden weeds to grow so easily? Yet some people will nurture a plant, do everything that they can for this plant, take care of it, and then, well, let's just say the results are a bit of a disaster. I read that seeds of many weed species can survive and remain dormant in the soil for several years until, until conditions are favorable for germination. Is it only weed seeds that can grow or that can grow after being dormant in the soil for many years? What about the spiritual seeds we sow? What are we doing as a faith community, as followers of Christ, to make conditions favorable for a non-believer or someone who is no longer in the church or a person who is just indifferent about the relationship with Christ? Someone in our lesson study group mentioned that we must look at each person as a candidate for the everlasting kingdom. We all have a history. We can therefore adopt the characteristics of the garden weeds, being resilient and tenacious, flexible and pushing beyond boundaries, but we must also be kind while doing it. So let us watch this short clip and see what the benefits and characteristics of the garden weeds are. Lord, in the morning when I wake up and remember a quiet prayer to Thee up to the hills I render. Lord, in the morning in an all alone surrender my voice to Thee in gentle plea I'd always tender. These precious memories make the heart grow fonder. Of days gone by, elusive dreams of yonder Oh, precious memories, let me stop and ponder Could I go back to thee again, I wonder Because one day I lost my way, maybe September Beautiful faces, empty places in December Bright city lights and crazy nights and hopeless splendor I've traveled on this lonely road and now I surrender Lord, then I heard thy whispering voice from heaven Lift up your cross to me, I'll leave you never Thy love and grace have made me whole forever Faithful to thee I'll always be forever Now in the morning when I wake up and remember a joyful prayer to thee up to the hills I render Now in the morning in an all alone surrender my voice to thee in fervent plea I'll always tender Lord, then I heard thy whispering voice from heaven Lift up your cross to me, I'll leave you never Thy love and grace have made me whole forever Faithful to thee I'll always be forever Thy love and grace have made me whole forever Faithful to Thee I'll always be Forever These garden weeds have many healing properties and we can also aid in the healing of a broken or lost soul. And maybe someone is thinking that they can't do this. And listen to Isaiah 41 verse 10. It says, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This verse is a source of encouragement to all of us. My final thought is that 
We may not always see the results of the spiritual seeds that we sow, but the action or interaction that we may have with someone may, cre may aid in creating a favorable climate for that person to one day respond to Christ's calling. It is the seeds of kindness, the seeds of care, and the seeds of love that will create these favorable conditions. So let's close our eyes for prayer. Dear Lord, give us a renewed strength to reach out to the ones going through difficult times, those battling illness, and even the ones that are lonely. Let us sow seeds of love and kindness. Amen. So thank you everyone for joining us and have a fabulous Sabbath.